Hey, Joe here of Florida Concealed Carry, and I am going to answer another question for you today. Uh, today's question is, what do you do after the class? How do you actually go and get your license? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, let me make my turn right here real quick, and I'll really explain it to you. Oh, we got this. So, there's basically two ways that you can do this. You can do it by snail mail, or you can do it in person. I highly suggest doing it in person, and I'll break it down for you. Snail mail, go online to the Division of Licensing's website, you can download the application, it's a PDF format. You can fill it out right there, it's typed up, it looks neat, answer the questions, sign the paper, you have to get it notarized. You're gonna have to go and get uh, passport size photographs taken. Pretty simple, you go to any CVS, Walgreens, whatever, Walmart, get those pictures taken. Um, 10 bucks or something like that to take them. Uh, you have to go, you must go to a law enforcement agency to get your fingerprints done. Uh, don't mess up there. The statute states it must be a law enforcement agency. It says nothing about a law enforcement officer, it just says law enforcement agency. So you go to your local sheriff's office police station, get your fingerprints done. They're going to charge you a nominal fee for that as well. Then you're going to take that package and you're going to mail it off to the Division of Licensing. My experience when you mail things off to them, it takes forever and somehow, some way, they'll screw it up and you'll get it back saying you missed this, you missed that, or we lost this or lost that. Um, in my opinion, the quickest way to do it is actually to do it in person. There's two ways that you can do that. You can either go to the Division of Licensing or you can go to a local tax collector's office that actually offers that service. Now, when you go there, all you have to do is bring your class certificate with you your driver's license, and of course, money. Uh, bring it down there, application is done right on the computer right there. They do the fingerprints, do not charge you. They do the photograph, do not charge you. And they electronically submit everything for the background check and everything. So it gets done a lot quicker. Yeah, remember, if you do it by, uh, if you do the old method of ink to get your fingerprints done, they gotta send them off, they gotta get scanned, everything it takes time always get them done electronically and they can also tell if the fingerprints are good or not right off the bat um, again the second way going to the divisional licensing or the tax collector's office is definitely in my opinion the better way to go um, you're, it's much worth your time if you took all the time it's going to take you to run around and get the fingerprints done the photograph done go get your package notarized you could have just went there and had it all done the process takes 10 minutes once you're there so don't get called up in any scams or any of these places or shows or try to say, hey, we do your fingerprints for you. Hey, we do this for you. We give you the packets. Folks, 90% of this was just for free. Do your homework. Get smart. And also remember, those fingerprints must be done at a law enforcement agency or an authorized place by the Division of Licensing. And those authorized places would be the Division of Licensing or the tax collector's office that is doing it. Folks, if you have any questions, give me a shout, call, email, message, whatever it's going to be, smoke signals, I'll figure it out. I'll answer them for you. Folks, have a great day.